hot pixel removal and other cosmetic fixes can be done uh, a couple of different ways in Images Plus. Uh, with proper master dark frames applied with uh, automatic image set processing and in the light frames processing parameters there's an option there that'll uh, remove hot pixels and uh, it's like it's like an automated uh, defect map that uses a dark frame to remove hot pixels and bad pixels in general but that's not always possible and some images have already been stacked without such tools which uh, brings me to an image of this type that uh, has quite a few green uh, there's some blue and hot red pixels in there there's some dark black spots some low pixels and this right in here even looks kind of like a I don't know, piece of dust or something on it so let's see how we deal with this uh, to remove the hot pixels we're going to use the reduce high low pixel tool on the local menu now I'm set to apply this tool to the uh, red green and blue data I could if I just wanted to deal with red hot pixels press the uh, red channel only button or the green channel or blue channel only and deal with uh, the red green and blue hot pixels separately but I'm just going to use the red green and blue option and apply the same uh, hot pixel reduction parameters to all three color channels. Alright, uh, the window size defines the strength um, for a given normal or reduced strength setting. Effect size, that's uh, how many pixels we, we, we fix at, at one particular pass. So if we detect the hot pixel here, let's say, and the effect size is 5 by 5, we'll actually fix an area of 5 by 5 around a hot pixel. Uh, I could make that uh, smaller or larger, but uh, 5 by 5 with a 5 by 5 window size seems to work uh, well with a lot of images. Now this particular image is a starlight image. Uh, it was guided with, uh, auto guided with uh, MetaGuide and did a real nice job of uh, getting some round stars. So let's see, I want to fix all these red and green blue hot pixels for starters. Uh, I can press apply just using the default parameters and that will reduce some but I still have some rather large green ones here and I see that red one's been reduced and here's a large red one. So I'm going to move this strength slider over and that's going to get rid of most of them but there's still a, a trace well there's a large green one here and still a trace of them so maybe I'll go a little bit further now the danger here is that if I over apply this tool I'm going to start to actually remove stars or maybe take a chunk out of a star so you want to be a little careful this tool's designed for application to an open image where you can uh, have good f visual feedback to, as to uh, you know the strength that's being applied and how effective it is so that you're not affecting the stars. The hot pixel removal in automatic image set processing here in the light frame parameters that uh, really does not affect stars at all because it uses the dark frame for hot pixel removal. Okay uh, well I'm gonna leave a couple of these uh, hot picks. I could increase the strength some more and probably get rid of all of them. But I'm going to leave a couple here so I can demonstrate uh, how to use the local mouse control tool. But first, look, I've got some black pixels here I'd like to remove. So rather than just do hot pixel or low pixel, let's do both. And that should get rid of some of or all of those black spots that we're in around here. Looks like it took care of all those black low pixels. But I still have a, a green here and here, trace of a red, a green here, and some lint. Looks like a lint mark here. And maybe a single low spot there to fix. Um, so let's fix those with the local tool. Alright, same, same thing. Um, window size is the strength, the effect size is how many pixels around the area that I click on do I want to fix. 
higher the window size, the more the blur or the more sharpening you know it does. You can blur, sharpen, darker, brighter, fill with an intensity. And then there's a blend function down here, but we'll leave it set to the most. So I'm going to use like a 13 by 13 blur, and I'm going to affect maybe a 13 by 13 area. Then I'm just going to go and click on this green one, and it'll be gone. I got one over here. Looks like I got one there. Oh, there's a red one right there. A little trace of it left. There's a black area. And then there's this uh, kind of a dust mark here. We'll just left click and drag a path to get rid of it. And I think that's done a pretty good job of getting rid of, uh, of all that stuff. You could uh, choose the sharpen option and apply a local sharpening to an area. This is really a local unsharp mask, and it uh, it can be used to bring out some detail. Uh, when you're done with the uh, local mouse effects, we'll close it. I don't really see anything else there that needs to be cosmetically fixed. Uh, the last thing I might want to adjust the background, so I'll use color balance, neutralize the background. I'll click on that background to make it more of a, a gray. And then maybe I want to adjust the color a little here to make it more of a, a blue-gray or less by uh, using these background sliders. Okay. That's how you do cosmetic fixes.